First off, yes, I do realize using this picture is an overly dramatic way of saying I'm going on a diet. <laughs> but what can I say? I like anime, so... It was either that or just a picture of, you know, an anime character eating a cheeseburger. Um, first off, what I'm planning to do, I do not advise anyone out there do. And if you are thinking about doing it, then I would suggest that you would consult your doctor first. That being said, considering going completely zero, zero calorie, not just intermittent fasting as an idea, but complete zero calorie. Now keep, keep in mind, I only did the intermittent fasting a little bit for the first couple weeks or so of what's already been a couple months. Actually more than that. But I think, one, I underestimated the amount of just wear and tear I had from the previous job I had. I mean, the first few weeks I already had to recover because that job I wound up quitting, I had to quit because I was having cost constant chest pains and migraines, and my knees were already giving out from the odd move ways I was having to cause was standing manual labor, and I was having to move really fast and very odd semicircle turns over and over again, which was putting a lot of torque on my knees at very odd angles, and well, that was just not very healthy for me. And between the fact that my body just wasn't going to handle any of that anymore, I mean, constant chest pains were perhaps a bad sign of health. Then again, I mean, what's to be fucking expected? I was working third shift, and I was working a shit ton of overtime, and Granted, I've worked other jobs where I worked more hours, and I've worked other jobs that had much worse conditions. All in all, I have to say that the hours worked wasn't bad. I mean, the overtime is why I was able to afford to buy a computer in the first place, let alone be able to, you know, afford to continue to pay rent despite quitting a job. And... Yeah, eventually I'm going to have to get another job, and I'm already kind of pushing a little close on money when it comes to stuff, but I'd rather take this at least last-ditch chance at improving my health. That being said, <coughs> it was definitely necessary for me to take some time to recover at first. I mean, obviously, between being stressed out of my job and just the fact that Physically, my body wasn't going to be able to handle it. I was already physically and mentally at my breaking point with the way that job was. And the conditions of that place kept getting worse and worse. And it's just... Physically, my body wasn't going to handle it. And two, it's just... The conditions of the job itself were getting really bad. And again, there's other jobs that were far, far worse. And all in all, like I said, it wasn't that bad in regard to... like There wasn't like health violations or anything dangerous but it's just the way they were treating people was absolute shit and it was just the whole place is going downhill everybody in the building was about to fucking snap and it was just I was just so fucking miserable doing that job I was just so so unhappy doing that job and it's just I'd have constant chest pains and my knees would be throbbing and pain even it even when I was just laying in bed at home or sitting doing a let's play but no matter what I know that job's not going to last anyway just because the way that business is going they were already having financial problems so I'd say it'll probably about take about two years but that company's probably going to go completely under but not my problem anymore. Grant, I have to use them as a reference when I get another job. Hopefully whatever job I get, I enjoy and I like. But I'll say this. For such a long time, I was like sleeping like three hours a day. and I was... <laughs> Granted, I'm still drinking a bit of soda at the moment, especially this past month. But I was drinking soda as well as multiple energy drinks a day to where I'd be working third shift be sitting in my car on my phone on YouTube at lunch eating like some candy bars and some snacks while like 
double fisting energy drinks, washing down caffeine pills and Advil and Tylenol just to, you know, push the fucking impossible quotas they were asking of us. Uh, and I think it was just about, what, mid-October I had that bladder surgery, which again, thankfully it was the much more minor version of it. But granted, I've went into much more detail about all of that in other videos. But suffice to say, I don't want to gross everyone out. But at least I didn't have the form of the surgery that actually required me to be cut open. I was still in very unpleasant circumstances, and my mom did spend the night for three days and three nights to be here for me, and I absolutely did need her help because I was practically crippled because of just... Uh, again, I don't want to gross everyone else. I'm not going to go into detail. I've done that plenty in other videos. But, fuck, that was just... That's actually about, what, six months back now since I had that surgery? Which, again, I'm glad I had the much lesser version of that surgery, because, honestly, if I had had what they initially were suggesting to me when they very first were telling me I was going to need that surgery or, you know, die, um, that was fucking horrifying and very... to the point that I was like, oh, I was just going to avoid it forever until... <sighs> but, again... It's just, eventually, it's like, okay, we have this other option, and it's a much better chance of success than we originally told you, so we can go with a much lesser version of it, which was, okay, fine, that's doable. Which, again, given not only how my body reacted to the time I was under anesthetic, as well as the time that I was recovering from it, honestly, I think I would have died on the table if I'd had the more... Uh, originally suggested much more invasive surgery which honestly sounds like something out of a fucking horror movie which again I understand there's people who have plenty of surgery stuff but I don't really like that stuff and of course my body seems to freak out when it comes to trying to recover from any kind of injury I can't seem to actually go to the gym and not fucking hurt myself in some fucking way which I just uh, all I can do is just laugh at it because it just it feels embarrassing and humiliating the fact that just my every attempt at you know trying to get stronger or anything just results in failure after failure. But at the same time, you know, recovery is important, and anything in your life, whether it's say guitar or gym, it should just be a supplement to your life. It shouldn't take over. But at the same time, it's still. It, you want to feel like you make some sort of progress. And, yeah, I really don't feel like I've made much progress. Uh, I'm not even sure, like, uh, what to really expect of anything, or even if this idea will last more than a couple days. But, like I said, initially when I, quit working that job like I said I was still having the chest pains because I was drinking so much fucking caffeine and just because they were pushing those impossible quotas and I was doing everything I could to force myself to do the best possible job I could and eventually my health was not my health and my body was not able to handle it anymore I was so exhausted all the time and granted I was only sleeping a few hours a day but again it was just and yeah, some of it was like, okay, you're spending some time on the computer doing Let's Plays and stuff, but you know, that's stuff I wanted to do and actually did help my mental well-being quite a bit. And yeah, there's lots of things to discuss and things, but at the end of the day, that's just kind of the way life is with people. Everyone's got a lot of things to discuss on everything. But at the end of the day, I've at least sorted that stuff out and gotten to the point that I understand all pretty much everything that I needed to sort out. That being said, and at least like I said, I don't have the terrible chest pains or my constant migraines I was having when I was working. And like I said, I. Granny, while I'm drinking soda again, I have not had any energy drinks for, what, going on three months now, I think? Which, again, it's crazy to think it's actually been that much time 
doesn't really feel like it, but then again, eh, I've been spending a lot more time actually asleep. I know that first week or second week or so, I wound up having like a really high fever, so I was kind of out of commission for a few days. But I know like when I very first started, I was trying to do intermittent fasting. So I was doing like, initially the idea would have been 52 hour stretch of no eating and then maybe eat like 500 calories worth of chicken. Which that didn't last very long because I was going, I was spending a lot of time at the gym, much more like, and I was like, well, I'm used to spending so much time at work. So, and I would go to the bike trail quite a bit and I wound up walking like 14 fucking miles and I was limping back from that. Also slightly not sure if I was going to pass out because apparently walking 14 miles after not having eaten for at least over 40 hours is apparently not not a highly advised thing. And at least for that first month, I was drinking any Pepsi or anything. And I was eating fairly healthy. Like I said, I tried a bit of intermittent fasting and it's just, it became very apparent that I was being overly ambitious in regard to the fact that I was trying to build muscle at the same time. When I am not a fucking athlete to begin with, I am out of fucking shape completely as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and it's just... And, and granted, yes, at least the first few weeks I had to adjust to not having a shit ton of fucking caffeine and not having the energy drinks and not taking the Advil and Tylenol and actually sleeping like a normal fucking human being as well as needing to recover the injuries I had to my... Granted, not like... But it's not like anything was like torn sticking out of my fucking leg or some shit. But it's just... Had I continued on on my job eventually with the way I was working, I was eventually going to turn and something was going to tear to the point that I was going to be, you know, limping out of that building, needing a fucking knee surgery. Granted, there was a lot of times I was working where even with Advil and Tylenol, I'd make a turn and I'm like, oh, fuck. And I'd have to put ice on that fucking thing when I got home. Then again, there were so many times I was having some back pains and shoulder blade pains and but yeah, that first couple weeks, I tried a bit of internet fasting here and there, mainly that first, like after a few days and a few of her week, and then tried a little bit next couple days after that. But then it became an issue of, I definitely had to tone down a lot of, of what I was trying to do that I was, you know, I was kind of hoping like, understand life isn't an anime and shit. But at the same time, whether you call it ego lifting or just the fact that being overly hard on myself due to like unrealistic expectations of myself as well as low self-esteem and well basically just feeling that a real honestly not unrealistic expectations but so much a completely realistic observation and evaluation of my well capabilities as a human compared to everyone else and I definitely feel that I am much weaker and fatter than everyone else. And that my body kind of like is just not anywhere what it should be. And also that in the long run, if I don't make corrections to me becoming a fucking fat ass, that it will be not good for long-term health. Because in the end, the main purpose of this is to be healthier. Though, of course, there is this sort of vain hope that one day I'll have a six-pack partly for vanity reasons, but also for the fact that, well, if I'm in that situation, that would mean I have a low enough body fat that my body would be less lethargic, that I would feel more energetic, that I would be able to run faster, which again, that was a, another thing I wound up going into, is the fact that initially, you know, I was recovering my knees from my job and recovering just my health from everything. And I was initially starting healthy and I was just trying to push a lot of things and trying to get into a bit of a jogging here and there. And 
initially the main thing I wound up hurting was my back. Granted, part of it, I did a little bit of deadlifting. And again, it's not like I was lifting that much. I can't even remember how much it was. Oh. I can't remember. It's... Oh, uh, 90... 180... Two twenty-five. It, it, it's doing like four sets of four reps at two twenty-five. Apparently, that's too fucking much for me, which again feels like a fucking failure because I feel like anybody should be able to do that with like no training at all. I mean, as are they like, she's like you try to work out and like again, I know people at the gym don't fucking give a shit, but the fact that. Uh, feel like I'm doing so much less than everyone else we have like no progress and and I feel like over time I just wind up getting weaker and more tired lifting less sets and reps and at a lower weight but I will say this I am that guy who walk by and I'll see a, another guy doing a bench press and I will look at how much weight he has on that to make a comparison you see like okay this is the frame that he has in his body and as far as his arms and his chest. And that's how much weight he's using. And this is how many reps he's doing. And it's like, okay, this is where like, like the bar I should be setting. And now of course, mind you, yes, this person has probably been at the gym for years, but at the same time, it's like, okay, this is sort of a goal. Like, okay, that's what's reasonable for like your average person. So that's what you should be trying to aim for. Now, of course, I didn't ever try to lift anything that heavy on a bench press. Not that I can really do much of shit on a fucking bench press. Honestly, like I said, I've just been getting more and more to shit on it. Because, again, I was being a bit overly ambitious. I was trying to force fat loss and muscle gain at the same time. Which... While it may be possible for some people, perhaps during certain diets or workouts, whatever the case, one, I was not fulfilling those conditions, and two, that may not actually be possible <laughs> to you know, lose fat and build muscle at the same time, let alone in a noticeable amount in a short period of time as I'm being overly rushed on just being overly critical on myself. <coughs> but yeah. Got some water over there, but I don't want to like take the headset off to walk over there to go get it. But yeah, like I said, between trying to do the bit of deadlifting and the jogging I was doing, I th granted I felt it in my knees a tiny bit. But it was mainly, it was mainly my back. I felt like the lower part of my spine was just hurting so fucking bad. And I felt like there was a fucking dumbbell super glued to my fucking tailbone. Like I was fucking Goku at the GT Saga having my fucking tailbone, having a tail pulled out to the bottom of my fucking spine by fucking Elder Kai. And I'm just saying, it just, it hurt. And then I just try to force myself to go through it. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll just eat more food. At that point, I basically completely and utterly abandoned any idea of a diet. And I was just eating a massive amount of protein. As well as, you know, some snacks and candies here and there. Still really, I think I had avoided drinking any Pepsi yet at that point. <clears throat> I remember when I very first like started the whole thing with going into the intermittent fasting stuff, which had been about, about a few weeks before this point of that, which is like a couple months ago now. Fuck, it's just, again, it's kind of crazy that time passed like that. Uh, part of the reason I'm wanting to do things this way now, just because I feel like it's really my last opportunity to try to, because I'm not going to be able to push it like this 
if I have to be doing a job because then I'd be, you know, driving places. That's another thing. I know a lot of times in the past, if I was driving somewhere, I would purposely drink an extra energy drink. If I was driving somewhere far to do something because I didn't want to like fall asleep driving, which would be dangerous. In the same regard, I would also eat extra snacks and stuff just because I wanted to make sure I wouldn't fall asleep while driving. You because know, at that point, I'm like, okay, it's, yeah, in the long run, maybe inner strength's not good for you, but it's, you know, much better for you than being in a car wreck, because I've been in multiple, multiple car accidents already, and those hurt. <coughs> anyway. Like I said, at least for those first few weeks or so, I didn't drink any Pepsi or anything, didn't take any Advil or Tylenol. Though I didn't, I, well, no. I did take either an Advil or Tylenol, I took a I can't remember which one when I had that fever because like I said for a few days like a week and a half into it like I think it was shortly after I intermittent fasting attempt or something it was like three days or something I had like a fucking fever it was high in one of those days I just felt like fucking shit and of course times went by faster because I'm actually sleeping like a normal fucking human being and I'm not spending most of my time doing something that I fucking loathe even though it made money but still I was fucking miserable <coughs> and again it'd be nice to actually when I do have medical insurance again to start refilling my inhaler again I haven't used that in weeks or something like it's like four hundred and thirty dollars a month to refill that shit so i can't do that you know so can't do that without the medical insurance uh, but one of the main reasons i really needed the inhaler to begin with was because i was pushing so much when it came to my job granted it still would be helpful to be taking the inhaler but You know, I'll just deal, you know, like an adult with it. But, yeah, wound up like straight on my back, and it's like, I even tried wearing a fucking back brace and trying to jog through it like that, and it wouldn't really help. I was even starting to take Advil at that point, try to sort of just push through that. And around that time, I think I really just completely gave up on not drinking Pepsi because I really wanted a Pepsi and I was a bit frustrated with all that shit. So got some Pepsi and some donuts and stuff like that. And <clears throat> But, you know, kept trying to push on the jogging and I'm like, you know what? I felt like, you know what? I want to be able to run. I want to be able to run fast and sprint I want to be able to push on that. I don't want to just be walking and doing a tiny bit of jogging here and there. I want to be able to push on that. So then the idea is, okay, we'll hold off on the weights and shit and we'll just push on that. And I kept gradually hurting more and more parts of my legs. At first it was like an outer part of the muscle on the outside upper part of my shins. And then it just literally became everything like my knees as well as like the areas like especially when I was trying to do some stretches like I was like okay I think it was like the lateral meniscus like I was like okay I feel like I've done some sort of minor injury to the ligaments of my knees that it's not good as well as I was having some pain in my shit I was like okay that's actually through the bone I'm like I might have some very tiny micro stress fractures or at least some very bad shin splints. And it's like the entirety of my hamstrings hurt. From the parts that attach to my glutes to the parts that attach to my knees. To where not only were the muscles itself felt like I had, you know, sprained or strained both hamstrings. Like for the whole fucking muscle. But the, uh, you know, the little hard cord things that are in your knees going to your hamstrings. As well as the things you can feel in your ass. Um, those hurt a lot and they were very, very weak and tender 
So I was like, at least in a self-diagnosis, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I have hamstring tendinitis. But, yeah. So I've basically just been eating whatever. and Granted, a bit of focus on drinking a little extra water, eating some supplements, you know, extra protein, especially when I was considered about a concern about my bones. I was like, okay, we'll just start drinking a lot more whole milk. And as time gone on, I've kept increasing and increasing the amount of that, plus taking some more calcium cells, which I also, again, need to hydrate for because, because, well, I mean, I have had kidney stones before, so those also sucked. Um, but, yeah. Ben grabbed me some food, like Wendy's and Taco Bell a few times here and there. I've grabbed Taco Bells a few times and just, like, munched on some tacos and burritos and some Baja Blast Mountain Dew while, you know, recording a video. And, heck, yesterday. Yesterday, I got a pepperoni pizza and some Pepsi, and I binge-watched some Asmongold playing Vampire Survivors. Though, that game's had quite a few updates since the last time he's played it. So, there's probably a lot more new content for him. Then again, there's other Survivors-like games, like Rogue Ganesha and... Uh, Bone Razor Minions and Spellbook Demon Slayers. <coughs> you also have, um, in general, if I was going to suggest games to people, it'd be things like you know, Splasher, Thumper, Jubilee, Nerve, Death Mark Two, Chaos at Noah, um. The Perfect Apocalypse Trilogy. Uh, so if you're actually listening to this video and you want to know which one of my videos to check out, I mean, I did a blind Let's Play Resident Evil. I kind of did a, Sega, a couple few hours of Sega Genesis Mega Drive collection. But, yeah. There's a lot of really good games out there. But, yeah, like I said, I spent yesterday eating a pepperoni pizza by myself, because one, I'm a fat ass, and two, I am antisocial. But if it makes you feel better, I talked to myself as I was eating the pizza, and drinking some Pepsi, and binge-watching a marathon of video after video of Asmongold playing Vampire Survivors. Like I said, I enjoy Let's Plays. I I watched them for a long, long time before I ever made one myself. Granted, mine are just <laughs> not not any sort of quality. It's just me playing a game, having fun, and bitching at it. That's it's hardly the same thing as the people who made entertaining shit in the past, like Ultra J Man and Markiplier. Which still, I go back and watch some of their stuff quite a bit. Markiplier still make a whole lot of stuff. He is absolutely hilarious and. Very creative. Heck, I really enjoyed his, the space movie he made. I feel like it's like better than most things Hollywood or anything in a movie theater will ever make. Well, I am looking forward to the Deadpool movie. But, yeah, fuck. Honestly, I think I have a little bit of heartburn from eating that fucking pizza. <coughs> but yeah, I had, I had a pepperoni pizza some pepsi and binge watched you know somebody else playing a video game you know well, i'll say this at least asmongold makes it interesting he plays vampire survivors i play a survivors game i just sort of space out and just sort of like i zone out but he was like all oh, into it and shit you know what did did asmongold ever play shadow of war Imagine him, like, dealing with the Nemesis system all that works and shit. Then again, any of the games I suggested earlier. Like, heck, I wonder how he'd react to, like, say, Chaos Head Noah. Or Death Mark 2. Or the Perfect Apocalypse Trilogy. Or playing the 
platformers, splasher, jubilee, or playing nerd. Or how about this thumper? Thumper is a good game, and I spent my whole time playing that, cussing my head off. <coughs> I know I called that a rhythm game when I was playing, but like, it's more like a reflex testing game, I think. But yeah, there's debate on that. I think I guess it's both. As I burp into the microphone, that's a consequence of me being a fucking fat ass. Though, a couple days ago I started taking these bee pollen supplements. It's supposed to be healthy. And it's pretty much minimal in terms of calories, I believe. I know initially I was considering trying to ingest a large amount of raw honey with that, but that's just... One... Yes, perhaps a bit unhealthy would have been way too calorie rich to be healthy, but at the same time, it's. I just wanted to try it out, see what effect it would have, but again, you can't force that much of something that sweet down. But of course, you're like, oh, there's more sugar and Pepsi, but that, again, that's the different chemicals make it to where you get drink more sugar and calories than what is normally supposed to be capable for human body to ingest. That being said, I'm going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings when I stop this video. And everyone's like, you're talking about going on a diet, and now you're talking about going to eat at a fast food place. <coughs> well, like I said, I want to get a cheeseburger from there. Like I said, everyone's like, you just got done eating a pizza yesterday. I know. Anyway, I ate a pepperoni pizza yesterday. After I upload this video, I'm going to drive to a big city and... I am going to eat at a Buffalo Wild Wings. I am going to get some fries, some Pepsi. I think they got a limited edition flavor Mountain Dew at Buffalo Wild Wings as well. So I'll try a little bit of that again too because that's probably been a few years since I tried that flavor. But I'll get some Pepsi. I'll probably drink a few glasses of Pepsi. Like I said, ice cold Pepsi. Delicious. But yeah, as soon as I end this video, I am going to upload it, and then I am going to drive out to the nearest possible Buffalo Wild Wings, and I am going to have some big juicy cheeseburger, and some buffalo wings, and several glass ice cold Pepsi, and a bunch of fries. Then I might walk around a couple stores around there, maybe stop in a GameStop or something, just look around. Apparently you shouldn't spend a bunch of money. Everyone's like, oh, it's also a bit of a waste of money to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, but you know what? If I'm going to go into this, I at least want to have a really delicious cheeseburger before I start trying to do this idea. Which, again, I feel like is a sort of last-ditch effort. And again, I don't advise anyone out there to do this. And if you are thinking about doing this, I suggest that you talk to a doctor first. And make sure that the doctor is okay with your... Um, dietary plan <coughs> anyway so my plan is this obviously you can't push yourself to be physically working out and restricting calories at the same time especially if you're not already athletic your body tends to fight back with you on that and of course as much as I'd like to say that you know, I have discipline and shit, you know, at the same time, eventually it was just an issue of, you know what, I wanted a Pepsi. I wanted the snacks. I wanted the greasy food. And at that point, you know, I'm just eating and eating calories because at that point I'm more concerned with, okay, I'm trying to force myself to continue through a workout in which my body is not responding well to it. So I'll allow myself to have the extra calories to rebuild, especially when it came to when I... Again, self-diagnosis, but at least, you know, believe myself to had hamstring tendonitis as well as multiple other muscle strains and some concerns about ligaments and shit. At that point, it was like, okay, we just need to recover. So I'll just eat whatever. Of course, I'll make sure to eat protein and vitamins and shit, but yeah, I was eating fast food, snacks, got some ice cream some candy, stuff 
It's good stuff like that. But anyway, I'll be sort of keeping a record of at least making videos in this playlist. I'll also try to avoid adding videos from other playlists or other channels to this playlist. As time goes on, it becomes more and more difficult to deny the possibility that I have ADHD and quite a bit of autism. As I just sort of jump everywhere in my line of thinking at all times and can't seem to focus at all. <coughs> Even in terms of playlist, where it's just fucking erratic. But, yeah, I'll, and like I said, I'll probably be either reading parts of books or maybe karaoke or playing various games. Heck, I might go back to other games from other playlists and just continue from where I left off with that stuff because I have so many games I've just sort of, you know, stopped halfway or even after a single video. So I can always return to that. But, yeah, the goal will be I am going to end this video, I'm going to upload it to YouTube, I am then going to drive to the closest Buffalo Wild Wings that I can find, I am then going to have a giant, juicy, multiple burger, cheeseburger meal with fries and tons of soda, some sort of like Blackberry Mountain Dew stuff, as well as several glasses of ice cold Pepsi and some buffalo wings. Walk around a couple places. And then I'm going to come back. And then from that point on, I'm going to be having zero calories a day. And you're like, okay, how many days are you going to go before you, you know, break that fast? And, and I'm like, I'm not even doing like the original idea of the 52 hour. Because again, that was unrealistic because I was trying to force myself to do a bunch of exercise as well. And again, you know, as much as I wanted to try to force my body to do it, you cannot force your body to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. You cannot make yourself... You know, go to the gym and then walk 14 fucking miles on a fucking bike trail if you haven't eaten in over 40 hours. And you had been eating, like, your initial plan was go 52 hours not eating and then eat 500 calories of chicken. That is just, it's not conducive to a any kind of intense workout or even working out at all. Heck, if you go too long without glycogen, you're not supposed to get your heart rate into your heart rate into cardio levels because your body can only break down fat at so much of a speed. Which means hypothetically, if I'm in a situation where I'm in zero calories, I should avoid anything that would raise my heart rate above 120. Otherwise, my body would probably start freaking out and maybe try to break down muscle. <coughs> and I'd say most times when it comes to you know cardio stuff, I especially from what I use the little hand scanner things that at the gym when you're at like treadmills and stuff, apparently my heart rate's 170 when I'm trying to jog. And I know a few years back, or last time I was really trying to sprint before all of this, I was I was doing it. And I I was at least going at pretty good speed, and but yeah, <laughs> it read two hundred and two, which is like okay, that explains that's why I was feeling so like okay, that's definitely stop, and I'm like that point i just sort of like eased off of that and i'm like oh, i'll get another stuff but of course around that time they just picked up the overtime more and more and more and just started to where it's like 
I literally felt, and it's not just felt, I knew that it's just as is, even with Tylenol, Advil, and everything, and energy drinks, and, you know, you couldn't do what you're asking. Like, nobody could do this shit. <clears throat> like, everybody was fucking, and just everybody in the whole building was fucking on edge and pissed off with the way they were treating us. And it's just, on the one hand, yeah, I was making good money, in fact, I worked all that overtime. But it's just, one, it was mandatory, and two, it's just, I was just so miserable. And I was like, I was in pain. My head hurt, my chest hurt, my knees, my shoulder blades, my back hurt. And my body just, I was falling apart. I couldn't, I couldn't keep doing that. And even then, the way that job was being, the way the company was being, that company itself didn't have a future. Things were going to go sideways. That place is going to be a place I'm not going to be envious of anyone to be fucking at. <sighs> Though I do worry about if I will be able to find another job and if I'll even like that job and if that job will be able to make enough money for me to get by whereas I could just go get another job right now and, you know, use a little bit of the money I have left as a bit of a buffer to in case I don't make enough to pay rent but at the same time Again, I feel like this is my last opportunity to try to push this. And again, it's like, well, why did it take so long to get to this point? And the answer is, one, you can say I'm lazy, I'm fat ass, whatever, no discipline. I just want to eat junk food and all that shit. And I can't really deny that to a degree. But it's also this. My body needed time to recover. I needed to eat a good deal of calories. And granted, one could argue there's no nutritional value in like, you know, Taco Bell or getting some KFC or Wendy's. But it was relatively the diet I was used to when I was at work, so I just sort of returned to that when I was recovering from the fact that I had pushed myself way too hard at physical fitness and my body did not respond. Now, granted, if you looked at me right now, you would just see me like you would look at me and say, oh, "Okay, I look the same as I did, you know, in my live streams. My arms are as skinny as could be, and my stomach is a big fucking." pot of jello so I literally look like I've never worked out a day in my life but and while you can't outwork out a bad diet you also can't push yourself hard at working out if you are not eating but at the same time if you are eating at that point your body is going to sort of push you to want calories in order to refuel and yeah and like I knew when I was at my job I couldn't like do too many push-ups or stuff because they need me to function at the job and you know if you're too sore then they're like oh okay that's going to take seconds off your time off the task you're doing and they're going to bitch at you for every little fucking thing and it's just Everybody in the building was pissed off. Like I remember like talking to so many people in the building and they all felt the same way. Like everybody felt like, you know, we basically lived there and that nothing we do was ever good enough and that they were constantly pushing quotas higher and higher, that we were doing our absolute best to hit those numbers and that it, no matter how we tried, we couldn't do it. And it's just the way they handled things, it made you feel like you couldn't do anything right. And grandly, I don't need a lot of help to feel that way. I already have really low self-esteem and consider myself a fucking failure in every regard. I feel like I can't do anything right in this world. And I fuck up at everything. Like, I'm just a generally worthless human being. And, like, I really just have no value and that there's, you know... Well, you get what I'm saying. I'll stop continuing that line of thought because it gets a little depressing <coughs> but point being it's like everybody felt the same way it's just the way things were it's like it made you feel like you couldn't do shit right and granted yes i have a lot of my own you know psychological issues that have nothing to do with that job but with the way they were handling things at that job it was making it much 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 more difficult if not outright impossible for me to ignore and cope with my non-work related problems and I was just really really not well now that being said 
I guess one of the biggest issues right now is the fact that physically I am not the greatest health. I mean, here's the thing. I can't go run a mile straight without stopping. A normal person should be able to go out right now and run at least for a mile straight at a fast pace and be able to do that without stopping. But me, I guarantee you, I probably wouldn't even make it to the quarter mile mark before I'd be out of breath and having to stop. And that's just the cardio part. I'd probably be, my, my lower back would probably be screaming at me in pain. And even if I took an Advil and, you know, pushed myself through it, I'd eventually have to stop as my knees and my legs would just be in too much pain. It's like my every attempt at, like, say, jogging. It's like, well, a normal person would be able to jog farther and faster than this. I'm jogging so fucking slowly, getting injured so much, I'm staying sore for so long, and then it's like, okay, you're lifting weights and you are not lifting them very much. You're not doing that many sets. You're not doing that many reps, and yet you're exhausted, you're sore, you're not lifting that heavy, and yet it's taking days for you to recover at all. And even then, you're not building any muscle. You just keep getting weaker and weaker. And it's just... It's very discouraging, and it's very aggravating. But the main point is that point is this. I don't have infinite time to work with. And I need to make the absolute best use of the time I have in which I don't need to worry about, you know, not pot potentially passing out on a long drive, because that's a problem. If I was doing a very calorie-restrictive diet and controlling what I eat, then if my energy is not regulated correctly, what if I fell asleep while driving? What if whatever job I'm doing, you know, me limping causes a problem, or me being tired from trying to lift too much or being in pain would cause a problem with the job. Because usually when it comes to a job, you have to organize everything else in your life around your job. That's part of just, again, being an adult. To the where, like, okay, going to the gym is going to interfere with your job. You need to just not go to the gym because that's getting in the way of doing your job. I grant I would still try to go to the gym here and there, but again, it's just like you wouldn't find time. And a lot of times you'd work like six days a week, sometimes more. And it's just like, it's like, okay, you work out on your day off. And like, when is that? <clears throat> and then even then, a lot of times when it came to your day off, it was like, you're so fucking stressed from all those day after day after day, overtime, 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 just push, 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 push that you're like, you're just so stressed out. You're like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to take a moment to relax. To not feel like it's constant fucking push. And then at the same time, you're also so fucking sore and tired. You feel exhausted. And your body's already sore and hurt. To the point that, how can you go to the gym to lift if you're already like completely broke down? To where you're already feeling sore and achy everywhere. <clears throat> and of course, you need to be able to recover to go back to work. Because if you wind up delaying your recovery by trying to bench press too much or trying to lift something, well, guess what? Well, now you've hindered your ability to do your job, and at that point, then why, why should you even bother having a job at that point if you're going to bother doing things like trying to do push-ups and shit? I mean, that's counterintuitive to having a job. Your job demands you put that first. And it's just trying to juggle that and just try to, okay, I'll do push-ups if you're here and there, do that, and and it's just, you can never do enough to really make any progress. And of course, you're working too much at that point. Just, you're just getting fatter and breaking down more. And you're like, I was eating so fucking unhealthy. It says the man who literally just spent yesterday sitting and watching somebody else playing a video game while eating a pepperoni pizza and drinking some Pepsi. Granitedly, I enjoyed myself. It was fun. But yeah, fuck. <sighs> and of course, eventually became an issue of, okay, I'm injuring myself, my knee hurts, my hamstrings, my tendons, my back. 
and just, okay, we're just going to prioritize, just eat whatever the fuck I want, you know, get, make sure we get plenty of protein. If you want some snacks and candies and sodas, whatever, we'll just focus on just feeling normal and just getting back into feeling like we're ready to try to, you know, make some sort of improvement. And of course, I know long-term improvement is always about, you know, trying to think of the right word, consistency over a long period of time. But I'm just saying, if I want to make a drastic change, you know, I can't do that while having to drive a far, far distance or working at a job that requires focus and physical especially whatever you want to doing you can't be like passing out when you're trying to do a job at the same time i definitely want to do, don't want to be doing another job where i have to like chugging energy drinks just to be able to even attempt to do what they want me to do do i like okay your job description now requires you to be chugging energy drinks uh, it's like your health does not fucking matter uh, but, and of course, there's other stuff been working on doing. <clears throat> I'm trying to learn German. And, like I said, I've been sleeping a lot more. I've been playing some video games, watching some Let's Plays, spending some time walking on the bike trail. I know this during this week I've spent some time going on the elliptical and going walking on the bike trail. I mean, it's... I don't know if it's how people. It might be considered a bit much, but my it's like eight miles. I mean, it's not the fourteen miles, and I wasn't quite limping on the way back, but I was definitely very tired. You know, I was eating a decent amount. It's just eight miles shouldn't be like that much of a tiring walk for somebody. Like a normal person should be able to walk just like thirty miles straight and be fine, but me, oh walk eight miles and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm kind of tired and my legs are sore. But at least I wasn't limping. Like at the time I did like 14 miles after a shit ton of you know, weightlifting and and the 40 plus hours at that point of not eating. Like I said, at that point I was going to do the idea of the 52 hours not eating and 500 calories of chicken. But of course that seems to not work very effectively and of course then you wind up being, okay, I'm sore. You know, we'll get a little bit more protein, try to force this through. And of course, then you get more emotionally frustrated, not just from conditions, but also the fact that you're not eating. And it's just like, it makes you feel aggravated. But because apparently chocolate bars are antidepressants and cheeseburgers are antipsychotics. So at least that I'm getting one last dose before doing something a bit psychotic. Uh, but again, like I said, I feel this is my last you know, opportunity to actually make the most efficient use of my time. And I want to improve my health. And honestly, the best thing I could do would be to remove as much fat as I possibly could from my body. And you cannot do that while trying to continue a physical workout let alone in intensity even moderation so the only way this is going to work or at least the way I'm thinking is the only way it's going to work is if I just completely eat nothing at all zero calories and just force my body to just sort of live off of you know, my giant fucking beer gut, even though I don't drink alcohol. Though I do drink a lot of Pepsi, okay. And to my time at work, I definitely drink a whole shit ton of energy drinks. <coughs> but, yeah. That's going to be the goal with that. Just And again, no one out there should do this. I don't advise anyone to do this. I... Also say if anyone out there is thinking about doing this, you should talk to your doctor first. Um, I'm not going to talk to my doctor first because I can't afford that. 
But even if you guys can't, you should too. You should also talk to your like family and friends. And, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, um, doctor, psychiatrist, friends, whatever. I don't, I don't know. I'm getting distracted. Main thing, talk to a doctor first, okay? <coughs> but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go drive to a Buffalo Wild Wings and have a big, giant, juicy cheeseburger and some Pepsi and some Buffalo Wings. Maybe walk around in a GameStop and annoy the people there and then probably buy nothing. <laughs> As I just browse, but I don't want to spend money. And then I will drive home. And I will probably then just fall asleep. Because I'll probably be tired. But the idea is that after I eat that meal at Buffalo Wild Wings, the big giant juicy cheeseburger, and the Buffalo Wings, and the Pepsi, and the Mountain Dew, and the, <coughs> and the fries, after I got that big giant juicy cheeseburger, the moment I step out that door of that Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm not going to be eating anything. I'm just going to be having some water with maybe some lemon juice in it. And we'll see how many weeks I can go like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end the video. And well, I at least plan to make a video every day. On this playlist and like I said I might make a video when I get home but I think I'll just go to bed but yeah so <sighs> yeah I'm gonna end the video go to Buffalo Wild Wings get to eat a big giant juicy cheeseburger and a bunch of other shit <laughs> and some Pepsi and then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna go to bed but yeah the plan is this after eating that big giant juicy cheeseburger the moment I step out the front doors of that restaurant establishment known as Buffalo Wild Wings, I will then officially be starting zero calories. And we'll see how long that lasts and how effective it is. I'll have to just avoid working out too much at all. Just do some minimal stuff with the idea that I don't need to, I don't want to actually hurt myself and I don't want to force myself into a state where I need to start eating a, a bunch of calories and protein again in order to recover again. <coughs> so, yeah, so that's the plan. I end the video, I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I eat a giant, big, juicy cheeseburger, and then when I leave and step out that front door of that building, I go officially on zero calories for possibly weeks anyway i'm gonna say you know end of the video here all oh, right i never did the intro <laughs> did i i don't know greetings one and all to the most cursed most cringiest corner of the internet a youtube channel content creator actively alienating everyone and both the analog and digital world well welcome and good evening wonderful dice of all alignments i am a lunar d8 and i guess this is the end of the video so uh later Goodbye.